Hi Henry, it's very nice being here with you. It's great being here with you too, thank I you. I want to ask you about your geeky and gamer side. Okay. So because when we heard that your first approach to Geralt was through a video game, yeah. how much of a gamer are you? Very much of a gamer. I mean, it depends on who I'm talking to. If I'm talking to the average person, very much massively a gamer. But if I'm talking to a pro gamer, no, he would probably, he or she would think that I'm not as much of a gamer. I only have a certain amount of time where I get to play computer games. And when I do, I get very involved. I really get stuck into it, especially when it's a good game that comes along, like Witcher 3 or the Total War series. Love what those. are you playing right now? I'm traveling right now, so online games are pretty much out of the question. Total War, Warhammer 2, that's the one which I'm on now, because that's always a good jump in game. I can always jump in, play for a bit, play for a few hours, pass the time, jump out again and then I can come back and nothing's changed. I'm looking forward to World of Warcraft coming out. Yeah. That looks good, and how they're resetting everything down to 60. That's gonna be cool, because it makes the game a lot more playable. I never got back into the retail version of the game. That's why I enjoyed jumping into Classic, because it was zero to 60, and it felt obtainable, where the retail version, it was, I don't know what they got up to, 100 and something, but now they're resetting everything from zero to 60, so I'm looking forward to that. It looks like you're a very objective-driven person, that you want something and you go for it. You're tackling into some of the most iconic characters. I mean, Superman, and then you have The Witcher, which are very embedded into pop culture. And I mean, there. do you feel that there's more scrutiny from fans? I think so, yes, because the fan base is already built in. Um, it's not like a great movie which comes out and then it, it generates a fan base. Everyone has their own personal opinion of what and who, in my case, Geralt should be. That comes from either books where you are picturing your own thing in your head or games where you get to make every decision. And so having to watch a TV show where someone else is now making all the decisions for you and has painted all the picture already, it can be frustrating for people. But for me, I just get to be a fan who's doing it. And I think anyone who's a fan of The Witcher would love to be in the same place. And so, that for me is is the excitement. I, I don't I don't feel any of that that pressure. I want to get it right because I want to get it right. Mm -hmm. But I'm more actually excited just to be here and be playing Geralt of Rivia. For me, it's a that's a real, really, really, really a dream come true. There's a picture of the character, games of the character, books of the character. What's the most cabal thing about it? What have you tweaked into it? They say, that's my own, that's me over there. Not just the, the eyes or the hair. It's, it's difficult to put it down to details because a lot of what I do is instinctual and, and natural. I think it's probably when you guys watch the show, you can say that is a Cavill piece of The Witcher and hopefully that will translate wonderfully and people will love it and it'll become a great thing like Doug Cockle's voice in Witcher 3, for example. If I were to use one example which people can compare to something, it would be the voice. It's Onion. Doug Cockle did his voice in Witcher 3. I was doing a voice at the start of the show and I was like, this isn't working. I need to bring some more gravitas to the voice. And I loved Doug's, Doug's performance and I wanted to make sure I wasn't just gonna be a carbon copy of Doug's performance. So instead of doing the American accent, I gave it to my own natural accent and Doug's voice in The Witcher 3 is in more of a whisper, more gravelly. If I'm to choose between a greater and lesser evil. And that they are similar, there are comparisons, especially when one is conveying different emotions depending on whatever, and I, I can't wait to sit down with Doug and actually talk about this. Uh, but it's, it's um, yeah, that's the one thing which I think I could probably say that's what I did, and it was very, very consciously done. Okay, what I've seen so far is really good. Thank you for your time, and it's been an honor being with you. Thank you very much. I've heard tales of your kind, Witcher. You're a mutant.